Fox and Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave your comments down below. I'll be sure to get back with you. In this fight against Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, a lot of people are having major concerns for Mike Tyson simply because of the age gap between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. This kind of reminds me of when Larry Holmes fought Muhammad Ali, even though the uh, age gap probably wasn't as wide. I think what Jake Paul is like 27, Mike is like 57, 58, so it's like a 30 year age gap. But I see this fight, I give Mike Tyson three rounds, four rounds maybe, of just all out pressing forward, going hard to try to take Jake Paul out. Because if the fight starts to get into the fifth, sixth, seventh round, and at Mike's age, that's when it'll start to catch up with him and Jake Paul will just be able to stand around and pick Mike Tyson apart, possibly hitting Mike Tyson with an uppercut, knocking Mike Tyson smooth out, if he has the power. But like when we see Mike Tyson hitting the mitts and all that kind of stuff, it's a total different thing in that ring. You know, anybody can look good on the mitts. You can have a, a fighter with 16, 17 losses that never really won that look good on the mitts. So Mike Tyson looked good on the mitts. I kind of dismissed that. But I'm hoping that Mike Tyson makes it okay and all right through this fight. And the same for Jake Paul. Because Jake Paul, if Jake Paul gets hit by one of Mike Tyson's left hook, cleanly should be lights out. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's a, a kind of a size advantage. And then I just think um, when, when they get in the ring, like Mike, Mike Tyson moving around is going to tire him out most of all. But let me know what you think, and I'm out.